cannot believe I'm back at the airport. About 30 hours ago I was here, coming back from Lebanon with Chris Fade. Now, on the way to Zurich. This time though, it's gonna be a fun trip. Just kidding, Chris. Uh, checking out the new Audi Q3. Let's get on a plane. I got my Franks. Now it's time to go shopping. And what better to buy in Switzerland than chocolate at the Lint factory? Let's go. We have arrived. So apparently this tour doesn't happen for everybody. It's a secret. We're not allowed to show things. And I make this look so good. I know you think I'm sexy right now. It's, it's true. It's so true. Let's go eat some chocolate. Yummy, 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 yummy. It's the chocolates that didn't make the cut. How sad. the Lint Chocolate Factory. I just ate my weight in various types of chocolate. Now I'm going to throw up. I won't film that part. <sighs> Morning in Zurich. Now anybody that knows me knows that pretty much I travel only to find out what kind of new refreshing energy drinks I can find. Well, today I found okay. It's not good. It's not great. It's okay. It really is difficult traveling with Audi. They put us in the chintziest places. Here comes the Q3. That's why we're all here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there was a reason why Audi brought me to Zurich, and it wasn't just for my charming personality. We so we could drive their very cool, brand new Audi Q3. Got a few out here. Which one do you want? So, it's time to drive the new Q3. I'm going to be driving today with Crank and Pistons' Phil McGovern. What's up, dude? What's up? Give your uh, website a hit. Oh, crankandpiston.com. There you go. Crankandpiston.com. i got to warn you, uh, even with the best GPS, I always get lost. As Wiz Khalifa told me, push to start. Yalla. Even though I will get lost no matter what, I've never been to Switzerland before yesterday. But the GPS thing on this thing with Google Maps, it will get me wherever I need to go, even an idiot such as myself can't get lost. It's the Swiss Alps you've heard so much about. Oh, I've heard so much about. It's beautiful. It looks great here in the uh, countryside of Switzerland. And I even like the color. Wednesday, but today we're gonna let the cows out. Moo! Cows speak German. A little something you may not know about roads here in Switzerland they have a feature on the roadside. It's very handy. It's like a mirror right there on the road. It's a little something to, you know, check out my hair, make sure I'm looking good. All right, we're ready to go, ready to drive. Let's drive. Don't hit me! As with Don't Audis, it's always the little things. The little tiny things that make me so impressed, like a backward facing camera. Uh, but now, this is gonna park itself. I've never done this before. It's ready to go. I've got a car back here that I wanna parallel park with. So, now all I have to do is let the Engage car... the rear. Okay, yeah. Engage the reverse. Now Steering turning. assistant is active. Monitor area around vehicle. Exclamation point, that's very important. So then I let go of the brake. All I'm doing, I'm not steering here. All I'm doing, look at that, on its own. You see that? All I'm doing is monitoring the the brake and the gas. This is amazing. And it's also kind of scary. This is a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it the first time, it's scary. Yes. Oh my god, look at it go. And I've got the car here. It's still doing its thing. Look at that. All I'm doing is tapping the brake just to keep keep the speed. Look at that. Just like it's supposed to be. And if I wanted to get closer, I put it in drive. It just did that on its own. That is freaky. Now it's, it has finished. 
assistant function over. Does it turn itself off as well? It is off now. It's off. And you put it in park. And finish. One day Audi and the machines are going to take over. They will not need humans. It's actually the Dolder Grand. It's a nice place if you like five-star luxury in the hills of Zurich. If you're into that thing. As I was saying earlier, Audi really puts us up in shabby places. Take a look at this place. Ugh. Really? I mean... I mean, come on. I'm supposed to stay here and enjoy luxury? What? Boom! Look at this. I mean, elephant shower in the ceiling, and then you turn the corner, and it looks like the rest of the shower is going to gun you down. Let's get it on! So, wrapping up. Should you buy the new Audi Q3? Well, if you're young, or at least young at heart, and you want all that Audi luxury in a smaller package and a smaller price, I say go for it. Should you visit Switzerland? Definitely. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Good morning, Zurich. It's been an amazing trip. Where are we going to next, Audi? Come to think of it, I don't really want to leave. <laughs>